IFM's mag meter includes a continuous pulse signal flow option. This video demonstrates how to set up the continuous pulse signal for IFM's SM9 and SM2 series flow mag meters. We've set up a mag meter on a bench and we'll show you how to enter the number of gallons that should receive a pulse signal. It's easy. Looking at an IFM mag meter, press enter for the menu. At SP1, press enter again to set the switch point. For output 1, push the lower button until OU1 appears. Press enter. Using the upper button, press and hold and go to IMP for impulse. Press enter to save. Now press the upper button twice to go to IMPS for impulse signal. Press enter. Press and hold the upper button again. This allows you the ability to move the decimal point. You'll notice as we move it to 10 to the third, the LED below it will appear. Keep pressing until the LED appears right below 10 to the sixth. We'll set this mag meter for 0.1 gallons to keep it simple in our example. Press enter to save. The next step is IMPR which as you can see is already set to yes. Press enter to save. Press the lower button and scroll to EF. Then press enter. Using the lower button, scroll to RTO and press enter. The word off appears. That's it. The mag meter is now set up to give a pulsed output. In this example, our mag meter is hooked up to a pump, so we'll turn it on. You will see that the flow will stabilize at around 5 gallons per minute. To double check that the flow is receiving a pulse signal, the LED indicator, as it appears in the upper right corner of this video, confirms that the sensor is properly set up to give a continuous pulsed output of the flow. If you have any further questions, visit ifm.com/us.